Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers Let's Play Action 52 for the Sega Genesis Part 7, Daytona. So with that said, let's get this shit started. Oh my, take a look at this title screen. It's gotta be the worst we've seen so far. The checkered flag looks alright, but that tire just looks hideous. Level 1 Daytona, as you probably have guessed by now, is a racing game. The C button is the gas pedal, the B button is the brake, and the A button switches gears. This button setup is terrible because it's just plain awkward. It's really hard to hold down the C button and press the A button at the same time to shift gears. Why didn't they make the up and down direction on the control pad switch gears, like most racing games back in the day? If you run into another car or touch the side of the road, they stop your car and make you start from a dead stop. That's not too bad, except for the hit detection in this game is really bad, so you will be doing this a lot. The mountains in the background and the grass to the side look very familiar. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's because we saw them in the last game, Sidewinder. The developers in this game were so lazy they recycled the same backgrounds. Those lazy bastards. Look at this shit, three cars wide. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Level 2 I'm not really sure how you advance in this game. Is it based on time? I don't know. Is it based on how many cars you pass? I have no idea. All that I do know is that if you don't have enough assets to pay the entrance fee to the next race, your game is over. Oh shit, I accidentally hit the A button and switched gears. That sucked. That doesn't even look like I hit that car. That's some bullshit. When I think of Daytona and racing, I think about NASCAR. Not some cheap-ass yellow Lamborghini wannabe racing some poorly designed red sedans. The sound effects in this game are terrible. The car's engine sounds like shit, and the sound of the skidding tires is horrendous. Level 3 The turning in this game is also very weird. It doesn't even feel like I'm turning. It feels like I'm just sliding over. Check this out, I accidentally switched gears again, but this was actually at a good time. Oh shit, don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck. Alright, that was some pretty good maneuver in there. This is the one thing I hate the most. If you barely touch the side of the road, it acts like you've crashed. Damn it, I did it again. I accidentally switched gears when I wasn't wanting to. I hate the button setup on this game. Level 
Level 4. What in the hell is this black line across the screen? I have no clue. It must be some kind of glitch. Whatever it is, it's really annoying. There I go again, switching gears on accident. I'm just trying to hit the brake button, but somehow my finger slips over to the A button and switches gears. Oh, this is great. Three cars wide. What the hell am I supposed to do here? I got an idea. I'll just slow down until they move off the screen. Maybe they won't be three wide next time. Level 5. Hey, where'd the black line go? Oh well, at least I don't have to deal with that annoying shit. Come on, give me a break. I didn't even touch him. Here's another example where it doesn't even look like I touch them, but they said I did. Derp. This game is not hard at all, but then again, it's not any fun either. It's just so boring. It's the same background. You're racing the same cars. The only thing that changes is the damn track. Level 6. I don't even know how I'm going to commentate for the next five minutes. I'm running out of shit to say about this game. Yeah, I do have something to say. Where the hell is the damn music? You could still have these shitty sound effects and have music playing in the background. One thing I do like about this game is that the races are only one lap long. This game would be even more boring if the races were multiple laps. Oh shit, get over, get over! Oh.
Where in the hell is the finish line? The developers were that lazy they couldn't even put in a finish line? Level 7 This track was the worst track design ever. Just look at it. The turns on this track are almost impossible to navigate. I don't even know what I was thinking here. I guess I wasn't paying any attention. Here comes another one of those dreaded corners. I am convinced that you cannot make that turn. Oh no, here comes another one of those corners. And guess what? I wreck again. I swear, when I take those corners, I am doing nothing but holding down the brake. And I still crash. Here we go again. Just one last turn and I will be finished with this dreadful course. Level 8 This track has some sharp corners in it too, but it's not nearly as bad as that last track. Hang on, hang on. Oh, shit. One last sharp corner and this race is going to be over with. Insufficient funds. Game over. I probably could have beat all nine tracks to this game by playing it a few more times, but I didn't want to torture myself anymore. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Action 52 for the Sega Genesis Part 7, Daytona. I want to thank you again for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for Part 8.